Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. The bill didn't even start yet, y'all. But it's ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. I say this all the time, man. I am terrified of having a child, man. I am terrified of having a baby. Um, because if I am ever put in, I mean, you already seen the title, you already seen the thumbnail. Um, if I'm ever, if I'm ever in a situation or find out that my child is in a situation such as this, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm going to prison. That's it. I am going to prison. So here we have, I believe it's LA. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Los Angeles, Harbor city. Uh, shout out to y'all out there. Uh, here we have a, a teenage girl who was, I believe 12 or 13 years old that gets brutally attacked by a grown ass woman um, in a McDonald's, right? Um, I haven't seen this video yet. I just read the article and I, I found this video. I said, thank God, so, <laughs> um, you know what I mean? So I haven't seen this video yet, but from what I was reading in the article, uh, they have some type of back and forth and she just jumps on her and talk about, oh, I fight kids, I fight kids, I fight kids, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's so sad because I know for a fact, if that was my child, I, I, I would have went, went to prison. And I have a lot of questions like, where was the mom? Was the mom outside? Like, parked outside? Like, what the hell is going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but but let, let's let's get into this video because I, I got I got a lot more questions. I'm hoping that this this uh this this news video will answer some of my questions that I have. But let's go. It started as an innocent walk home from school, and then suddenly, without explanation, it turned violent. I have to warn you, we are going to show show you that video, and it's very tough to watch. But and real quick, from this point on, I may have to blur out the video because YouTube is sensitive as hell. So just letting y'all know right now, if you see a blur, because it's not blurred now, but if you see a blur on here, it's because YouTube forced me to blur it. Uh, let's go. The family hopes that you will see it <coughs> and perhaps you'll be able to help them locate the woman who they say attacked their young daughter. <laughs> it's a trauma so fresh. 13-year-old Cassidy Jones has no words, but her tears say it all. According to Cassidy and her mom, Cassidy was with a couple of classmates when she stopped off at a McDonald's in Harbor City on her walk home from school September 6th. But before she could get home safely, an unidentified woman cornered her in the fast food restaurant and began attacking her. Cassidy says the attack was unprovoked. She says the woman hurled these words at her. What the F are y'all looking at? I fight kids, I fight you, this, this, and that. And, you know, I'm like, I'm shocked because, like, I didn't do anything. I don't know you. You're coming at me very aggressive for no reason. Fox 11 exclusively obtained several videos that seemed to corroborate Cassidy's version of what happened. The woman who was much larger than the girl appears to lunge at Cassidy and drag her to the floor while punching her and pulling her by the hair. Cassidy fights back with her hands and her legs. A crowd watches, yells, but does not help the girl. Cassidy says eventually, a man who was with the female who punched her pulled the woman away. The woman got her meal and left. I couldn't yell, I was focused on protecting myself because I knew the moment I put my hands down, was the moment I was probably gonna get beat to death. So when she called me, she was screaming and hollering and I'm standing there, I'm like, oh my God, I, I don't know what to do. Cass and, and listen, <clears throat> as a parent, I get it. You're gonna do the best that you can. Um, me personally, that's why I, 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 don't, I wouldn't, me growing up in the hood, right? We had to walk to and from uh, the school buses or the city buses, right? And a lot of things happen, a lot of things I've seen happen, number one, with kids on other kids and adults with other kids. I've literally seen adults trying to pick up young girls at our school bus stop. Adult grown ass men, oh, you need to ride baby girl. Da, da. Some of them got in the car, some of them did it. Some of them we never got to see again after that. Some of them we did see after that. And I always said to myself, yo, listen, if I'm ever in a situation, I'm gonna make sure that my child does not have to walk home from school. If anything, my damn wife better drive her ass to go out. I don't care. Or I will have to do it. But I don't want my child doing that because anything can happen. This young child could have had some type of uh, 
internal bleeding in the brain from all those hits to the head from that big ass 300 pound woman throwing this little ass 80 pound girl on the ground and getting on top of her. That was crazy. That is crazy. And I know the mother feels some type of way because it's just like, damn, like, oh my God, my daughter called me screaming, crying, standing there. Oh my God, I wasn't there to protect my child. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Where's the father? First of all, what, and, and what does the father have to say about this? If if he's active in, in her life. City's mom called the police and rushed her daughter to the hospital. You can see in these pictures taken right after the attack, her face was bruised and very swollen. One week later, the bruising is lessened. But Cassidy's heart is hurting that a complete stranger could do this to her, and her mom feels the same. I just couldn't believe that another human being would do this. You know, you, I mean, you just do not beat on, I mean, this is a 13 year old. We watched the video together where no one rushed in to help a defenseless 13 year old girl. Personally, she really needs to go to jail. So far, no official comment from McDonald's or from the LAPD. I can confirm for you, though, that the LAPD is investigating. There is also a partial plate, which could be helpful in locating this woman. But one of the things that really hurt me the most in talking to this young girl, she was very, very upset that her classmates who were present did not jump in to help her. And she says that that video has been seen by countless people at the school, her classmates, who she feels are passing it around almost as sport. It adds to the pain all the way around. Laura Diaz reporting live from Harbor City. Now back to the studio. Alex and Chris, just very upsetting. It started as an innocent walk home. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it, is, it is really sad, man. Honestly, let, let me see if I can find her, if I can find the child's face. Because that, that, that was just, that was just wild. I am terrified of having kids. Y'all don't understand. Y'all, y'all, y'all do, y'all do not understand. Look at that. Look at that child's face. I would have been going to prison right now. I would have been going to prison. And young girl, young lady, I'm gonna say this: those. Kids, first of all, that was sitting there recording and cheering her on, they weren't your friend. Because one of you, if that, if any of them, one, of, let alone one of them, if you had one girl or boy that was actually your friend and was actually there for you, they would have, first of all, called the police. First of all, they would have jumped in, number one. <laughs> they would have either jumped in, called the police, took pictures of the woman, and you can barely see the damn woman's face. All y'all recording the fight, y'all ain't getting nothing, y'all ain't get the picture of the face. Or the guy that was there, her license plate, none of that. The type of car she was damn driving, what direction she went. Wasn't there one of them kids, your damn friend, um, young lady, and I hope you, uh, unfortunately, I know you're going through a lot right now, but I hope you realize that. You do already, because she basically said, yo, like everybody's passing their video around like it's funny and it's sport and it's not funny. I wish you nothing but the best, young lady. Um, you know, uh, I wish you speedy recovery. Of course, I mean your face is already, um, <clears throat> already you know healing up and all that good stuff. Um, I hope that they find her, so I can do an update video on this. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, damn shame, man. I will try to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please, man. Y'all be safe, America.